Welcome back. <laughs> Uncle Des, don't worry, she'll be fine. Okay. She'll be fine. Okay. She's just wanting a better environment. Yeah. And a better country. And a better country. Yes. Okay, so Chima, you talked about not we don't write proposal. And when the money's coming, they're not able to be trained. The other side of it is <laughs> when the money's are released. Okay, so recently, Uncle Des, we're coming. Recently I was in a in an environment where they're talking about sustainable financing. They, they just did a launched a report on sustainable financing, a UN UNEP inquiry on mm. report on sustainable financing. And they brought in the private sector. So you had the SEC, you had um, FMDQ, OTC, you had private sector players there. So from that conversation, Nigeria needs about $91.9 billion annually to fund environmental issues. In fact, to fund the SDGs, and the bulk of the SDGs will tie down to environmental protection. So to speak. Mm -hmm. Is it a question of not writing proposal or the fact that the funders are thinking if this money goes forth, by the time that person leaves the office, the next person coming in might not see the money to continue that project. Okay, so um, first of all, to <laughs> clarify, not writing proposals was somebody's opinion on why we're not getting funding. Right. I'm not saying that's not why we're not getting <laughs> enough funding. Um, we also have to take the bull by the horn, and we also have to dedicate our own funds to um, any issue. So when you say it, it, it's a difference, the different protocol, if you come and say, okay, we have this issue, we have to put so, so, so amount of our funds into this, we just need support of this. It's, it's different from when you just come and say, we're looking for aid, we're looking for money. And even if, have you met the requirements to assess those funding? Do you have the institutions, do you have the banks behind no. to be able to get that money, to use that money, to report on that money, for it to be a transparent process, for you to be accountable for that money? Those are the issues that uh, we're facing. Okay. This one. I know for, yeah, it's good to hear about the money. But you're more interested in that money getting to the creation. Absolutely. And it's very, very relevant that we're you know, looking at the financial side because what has brought us to this conundrum <laughs> is actually finance. And you know, why am I saying conundrum? This thing that's going on in Poland, it is very alarming. Do you know that the Secretary General of the United Nations, Guterres, had to come back there on Wednesday to make a statement, and this is quite unusual, he opens the floor, but for him to come back because he was so worried. And his statement was that if we continue down this path of massive pollution and poisoning of the atmosphere that is bringing about this very rapid climate change, and remember, the issue of the climate change is now coming to the fore because the International Panel for Climate Change has just issued a report saying that it's going on far faster than expected. Ice caps are melting a lot faster. The whole thing is getting to what could be a tipping point very soon, that we have about 12 years to cut back. 12 years, if we don't cut back effectively enough in 12 years, it could go totally out of hand. Guterres came back to Poland to say if we go down this path, not only is it the height of irresponsibility, but it is suicidal. Secretary General of the United Nations said that we're going down a suicidal path because of poisoning with fossil fuel. As simple as that. So the reality is that, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's time for dramatic changes. And interestingly, interesting, in November, three reports came out. IPCC report from the United Nations, the World Meteorological Organization report came out, and also the report from the American Environmental Agency came out, which uh, Trump tried to sort of <laughs> sideline it and put it out on a time when they call the, the Black Friday, when everybody's doing shopping, shopping, shopping. But it still came out. And those reports said the same thing, that we're heading to a catastrophic decline. Do you know that uh, the, the great environmentalist, the Sir David Attenborough, He's done so many. He's, he's in his 90s now. In his 90s now. Yes, yes. He said that uh, what we're doing is we're totally mortgaging the future of our children if we continue this way. So anybody who feels that he can just you know, put his little finger 
and you know, steal some little funds that are going towards environmental amelioration, he better be very, very careful. Specifically for the reason that the God who created the heaven and the earth, he gave mankind that responsibility. It's there in all the scriptures. It's there in the Holy Bible. It's there in the Holy Quran. It's there in the Bhagavad Gita. It's there in the Buddhist Shustra. It's there in the Torah. It is there everywhere. That man, that man is supposed to be caring for this creation because the creation is our life support system and it's our children's life support system which they are telling us is being badly jeopardized. We're seeing the effects. Right here in Nigeria, we're seeing the effects. Massive desertification. A little cows have not learned how to eat sand yet. <laughs> and they will never learn how to eat sand. So they will move away from where the desert is moving to where the grass is growing, and conflicts will arise and arise. Thank God at least our president went to, to Poland to go and talk about Lake Chad. Unfortunately, it created a bit of confusion when he now alluded to this uh, cloning issue. And so, you know, what was, what was now trending was the president talking about, oh, I'm not cloning. a clone, yeah. instead of, hey, don't destroy Lake Chad because you're going to have maybe 40 million more refugees. This is a serious problem. It's the most defining problem of humanity. But the question then is, how aware is the Nigerian citizen of the environmental issues around? Very, very, simple very good things. question. Very good question. We have so much on our heads. We're not aware enough, and we need to create that awareness. And this is where, hopefully, the funds, when you know, they bring people like this wonderful lady here, to help to negotiate and navigate it, this is where the funds will go into that awareness, awareness. And you know the sad irony is that in days gone by, our grandfathers, they were living very harmoniously with the environment. In those days, you know, what were you eating, uh, moi moi? <laughs> moi moi was cooked in the water, uh, moi moi leaf. Mm. Yeah, so you throw away the leaf now, it goes back to Mother Nature. Now you're cooking your one more inside Plastic. something that will stay for the next 200 years. You know, so there's a whole reorientation that we need. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that, uh, oh, you have a program that is very, very uh, aware, awareness provoking. And I love that, you know. But we need to dedicate more, okay. more resources to this. We need to, we're running out of time. The wise men in the, of the world are telling us, you know, Secretary General of the United mm. Nations, that will not be full of. Mm. Somebody like me, I'd be lucky to be the secretary to the secretary of the secretary general. <laughs> <laughs> so when the secretary general talks, I listen, and he says, we're facing an emergency. Desmond, you said when the funds come, are the funds likely to come?